you're about to take on something that's rather large and it's very soon yeah. in basically a, it's a month there's yesterday a category yeah there's a... <laughs> it's a month yesterday yeah it turns out there's a fourth category which i can't believe it took me 10 years to work out but basically there was the three f's of endurance so in the world of sport i was trying to get those three f's the world's first the furthest and the fastest and i got all of those when i got the europe record and that was in 2018 um and then sort of an my new life started. I got married, I had a couple of kids and then COVID happened. And I genuinely was, and, and Caroline will tell, will sort of back me up. I was getting quite frustrated and I just, I didn't know what I was doing. Yes. I was enjoying being a new dad. And, you know, I was 40 when I bought my first house and that was terrifying because I <laughs> never dreamt of even earning enough money to buy a house, you know, so 40 that happened. Um, so life was good, you know, I got two amazing boys, um, but there was just something that I needed to, to scratch. And I was very nervous about going back and dotting the I's and crossing the T's, you know, because I'd done th these three big things and I didn't want to feel like I was just now doing stuff for the sake of it. I really wanted to find stuff that was going to challenge me and engage the terrier again. And then I found out that there's a fourth category, which is the most of something. And I was like, oh, and doesn't, then that. doesn't begin with an F, though. It's not quite as. It doesn't begin with an F. Oh, you do, I can't tell you how annoyed I am by that. Well, someone did say the most f frequent. Okay. I think someone's trying to do that. It kind of doesn't, but if you, if you wanted to. It kind of works, kind of doesn't. Yeah, exactly. It's stretching the, the thing there. But um, I then r sort of thought back to. So the, the most record I was going to go for, but I didn't realize it was going to be a category was back after i'd done the around the the europe cycle in 2018 i i james lawrence had got the record for the most number of ironmans in a row at that point he had done 50 ironmans in 50 uh days and 50 states in america uh okay sorry i have to say, i can't say ironmans i keep saying ironmans sorry ironman it's not an ironman it's full distance triathlon um, because an Iron Man's an actual sanctioned event. Sorry. Iron Man is a brand. Um, <laughs> I, I don't want to. I don't want anyone to yeah. uh, let that organisation yeah. get sorry, to sorry. what they're trying to do, which sorry. is pretend that they own the district, yeah. which they do not. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, Iron Man yeah. is a brand that puts on full distance yeah. triathlon events, and it's the most popular brand in the world. Yeah. However, they are not the only brand that you yeah. can do full distance triathlon events with. Exactly. It's important to mention. You can. You can. Yeah, so but I'm, I'm going to say Iron Woman. How about that? It's even better. And so, uh, and yes, I was going, going to, he'd done 50 in 50 days in 50 states. Incredible. And I lived in the Lake District and I thought, oh, I wonder if I could do 100. So I had this idea back in 2018. I, I even looked at a, a route, a course, so swimming in the lake, super easy, cycling down towards Barrow and Furness where it's a bit flatter and then back to Coniston and then two laps of the lake because marathon. So I'd, I'd really done all that prep. Um, and then as always with any sport, I, I, I have quite a few ideas and I pitched them to sponsors and I pitched this one and I pitched a few others. And, um, one of the other ones, which hasn't happened because of COVID and it's going to ha happen hopefully in 2025, 2026. Um, that was the ones, a couple of my sponsors were like, oh yeah, let's, let's, this one sounds cool. Let's do that one. But then COVID happened and then it couldn't, it didn't happen. And then it didn't happen and it didn't happen. <laughs> you know, it was going to be like, oh, in six months we'll do it. And, oh no, in another six months. So then I decided at the beginning of last year to revisit this most record, which is the iron, the, the full distance <laughs> triathlon, um, knowing that James Lawrence had done the 101. So in my head, I was like, oh, well, I've got to do 102 now. I, I always wanted to do it to see if I could do 100 anyway. Um, so yeah, so that was so January, February last year and stupidly really, I, and this is another th problem I have is the, the monkey and the terrier also want stuff done quickly. Um, so I tried to do it last year in June and really it just wasn't enough time to get enough funding to get crew who had experience, um, time of year all that sort of thing i was kind of rushing it but I, I i i believed i could do it i physically believed i could do it and i probably could have done it had i not come off the bike uh i would have just been a bit miserable doing it and 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 also in hindsight 
it's just not the way I wanted it to to play out. Like, have you do you do you draw or paint at all? I wish. Have you ever done a drawing or a painting? Yeah. I mean, if anyone's done a painting, you know, how many times will you do it and you'll be like, you get like twenty percent in and you're like, ah, this is crap. I'm gonna tear it up and I'm gonna start again. I sort of because you know it's not working out how you imagined it and the creative side of me imagined it. And so when I attempted it in June, it, you know, it wasn't working out. I got f- came off the bike anyway, and it was a real feeble crash. Trying to get uh, some food out of my back pocket, hit a pothole, overcorrected and steered into a bush. Um, but my left leg stayed clipped in, and it just caused a bit of inflammation on the tendon that runs on the top of my foot, the one that keeps your foot up. Um, so it keeps your toes up if you want to pull your toes up type thing. And uh, and that just got worse. So that was day five, day six. By day seven, it was just, I couldn't walk, basically. Um, but it sort of wasn't working out the way I pictured it. And that was my own fault because I was trying to rush it and I didn't you know, have everything in place that I should have had in place. So then I've now, I recovered and then the reattempt is now going to be in April this year. Um, uh, so yeah, going for 102 full distance triathlons. Starting in April, which I feel pretty good. I've, I was ill in January, so I'm a little, probably 10% down on where I wanted to be from a sort of hitting the markers on, on pace and heart rate and power and speed and all that sort of thing. Um, but it's still enough. It's still enough. I feel good. And I, and my crew is amazing. This a charity's come on board and we're trying to raise money here in North Wales specifically to try and create a fully sustainable youth triathlon team. So there's a couple of like run clubs and swim clubs and cycle clubs have teamed together. But what often happens is each of those clubs want their athlete to be a really good swimmer and then a really good cyclist and a really good runner. But with triathlon, you're sort of a little bit worse at all three, but you're good overall. So they'll end up getting burnt out. So we're, you know, together with the with the foundation, um, we're trying to really get a, a real positive really good tri- youth triathlon team here in wales uh so yeah that's super exciting so they well, i've got crew uh good crew now a really amazing crew to to help me on this one so yeah touch wood i'm not going to fall off the bike again <laughs> so no taking packs of crisps up my back pocket on a slow uphill even though it's slow well no fantastic endeavor to be taking on do you want to just quickly give us an overview of the practicality of logistics where you're doing it how you've set it up um same route every day any variety because it's a monotonous, long thing to execute, but you also want to reduce the amount of friction that yeah. goes into it. So just talk us through the practicalities. Yeah, so I'm, I'm basically, because James Lawrence has owned this space, you, you sort of got to do whatever he did in the past. To, to If you want to take on his record, really, you want to do it his way. Um, I didn't do that the first time. I wanted to do an open water swim, but that practically landed up being a poor decision. Just from a logistics point of view, trying to get to the lake and back from the lake to start the bike ride i was losing nearly 45 minutes just doing that um so now i'm doing the swim in in the swimming pool here in mold north wales uh then jumping straight on the bike heading down towards cheshire doing some uh, doing a course down there and then finishing near chester on the the, the river d or the or the train track back into chester from d side queens ferry um so yeah same course every day which limits sort of makes it easier for people to come and join me which i'm welcoming um and it's it's the only course that's achievable where i live yeah no i I actually know the area really well because my parents live in uh, the north wirral and uh when i when i've been with them i've done long bike rides into into chester come over into queensbury out towards colwyn bay on the bike and back and yeah that's the only route i I was thinking would allow flatness (laughs) Yeah, you know, I needed I needed flat, but I also needed quiet back roads, yeah. because you know if when I, I was looking at James, when people you know there's days where two hundred cyclists joined James, you know, and I needed roads that could accommodate yeah. cyclists safely. Um, so yeah, so that's I've sort of done that, and then the, the, a pool swim because he he did a pool swim, uh, and it's the logistically the the best the most sensible way to do that. And then the run's pretty flat along the D there. So, and that's, it's traffic free run as well, which is important. So anyone can join me on that. Um, so that's happening. Yeah. For, for, for one month yesterday. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I feel good. I feel 